Oh, would you look at that? I'm building a new raised bed. Trying a little different design here. Hammered in these one inch um, metal EMT conduits. I'm gonna put six of them in total, two in the corners and two in the middle there. I got the frame worked out already. It's going to be a 12 by two garden. Nice and manageable. I don't like them being too deep because then you often have trouble reaching into the center. Now I know I could have made them maybe 12 by four feet um, and I would be able to reach them, uh, reach to the center in both sides, but I do like the two foot depth beds. They're, they're quite nice. can never have too many gardens. Just think about it. The more gardens you have, the less grass you have to cut. I am going to start hardening these off in the coming weeks. Not quite ready yet. Uh, the first ones to go out will be the zucchinis because as you can see, they are the biggest. But they do have a competitor. The radish is catching up to them. And the sunflowers, of course. They, they just want to get close to the sun. They can't help it. They are sunflowers after all. Take a little sneak peek of the gar garlic here. The garlic garden. I don't know if we can get a nice view through here. I think we have 12 of them planted under there. We planted them last winter, or last fall rather, so they were overwintered. Apparently it gives them a better head start when it comes to growing, so we should have some nice large bulbs. This um, little greenhouse worked out fairly well. I kind of just slapped it together without looking at many ideas or tutorials online. Um, the three supports on the end and in the middle I used half inch metal EMT conduit. And the bridge across the top I used half inch PVC plastic conduit. And on the bottom there, I don't know if you can see, I just have some of those uh, fiberglass green garden pegs you can pick up at the dollar store. But it's been great because the last few weeks, well, mainly the last week, we've had some temperatures dip down to negative six. We had some snow, we had some frost, and we definitely want to protect the garlic from frost. I once heard that if you overwinter garlic, and take your mulch or your covering off too soon, uh, the garlic uses all its energy it has stored to kind of shoot up new growth. And then if you have to cover it again for a prolonged period of time under straw or mulch, um, or if the garlic leaves get damaged, they might not have enough energy to grow back. So timing is important when you uncover your garlic. In the case of these little row greenhouse cover kind of things, it protects from frost, but also allows the garlic to grow. It doesn't block the sunlight. So this has been good. It's worked out for me. Pretty rough design, but hey, I put it together in an afternoon. And it, uh, it may have very well saved my garlic, but we'll see. Well, I better get back to building my raised bed. I'll give you guys an update soon. Well, we're about halfway done. We got the bottom layer of wood on. Just like the raised bed behind it, I am going to double it up. I'd rather my raised beds be a little bit deeper than this, especially since I'll be sewing in some carrots. Carrots really benefit from the extra depth. So what I used here was just your standard electrical um, EMT conduit electrical metallic tubing. This is the one inch sizing, I believe. You could probably get away with using three quarter inch or even half inch. I just happen to have this laying around. So this is what I used. I drilled some screws into the side corners. I first drilled a pilot hole and went through the wood and the electrical metallic tubing. So it's a nice sturdy, nice sturdy corner there. And I more or less did the same on every corner. I did reinforce this one a little bit because the piece of wood on the end here was actually warped. So I just wanted to make sure everything would stay in place over time. My boards were a little short. 
Now this one is a little loose. What I'm going to do is get a little stick, maybe about the size of my thumb, and jam it in there and kind of push this out. That way it'll be nice and tight. But you don't have to do that. We could have just put the soil in and the weight of the soil would have pushed up against this. That would have worked too. This one's a little tighter. So we'll probably just leave that one. And as many of you know, it's currently a pandemic out there. So I try and limit how many times I leave the house. So it's been kind of tough this year building raised beds. I've used, you know, fence board that I've salvaged from a fence being taken down. We had this board laying around. This is plastic siding for like a shed or a house. So what I did was we have lots of old fencing board that used to go around the perimeter of our swimming pool. So I salvaged seven boards and I'm just gonna clean these up. I'm not too sure what kind of paint was on here. So we'll just sand those down. And I may even coat uh, the inside of the bed in plastic. Not the bottom, just the sides to protect the soil from any chemicals or anything that is in these fence boards. They are fairly old. I don't know what they used in the past. Um, it, it probably wasn't too healthy. Again, with those boards, pretty sure those are older than me and they're pretty, they're, they're still in pretty decent shape. So there's gotta be something potent in there. I don't wanna take the chance of that leaching into my soil. So I may just coat the, uh, the sides here in a thick six millimeter plastic that I used for my mini greenhouse over there. Now, some of you may be wondering, do you put down any weed barrier cloth to prevent the weeds from growing up? I don't personally put any weed barrier down. I've never had a problem with weeds growing up through my garden. Usually they just get blown into the garden from the trees, from the wind. And I don't have any on hand, so I'm not going to run out and grab that. All in all, I think this is going to be fine. We're gonna get another layer of wood on there just like that raised bed. And I'll give you guys an update when that's ready. Hey guys, how's it going? We finally picked up some mulch. We decided to go with some black cedar mulch. Mulching's super important. It's something I've never practiced. But starting this year, I'm gonna be practicing. There's three main benefits that you can get from using mulch in the garden. One is it forms a protective layer over the soil so the sun doesn't beat down on your soil all day and dry it out. So it helps your soil retain moisture. Two, it creates a layer over the top that prevents weeds from coming up through and growing in your garden. And three, as it breaks down in one or two years or more, it will be adding organic material into your soil and healthy bacteria and the worms, they love that kind of stuff. Now, I know these videos are a little bit out of order. I never did finish recording the video the day that I started building this. So as you can see, we do have the second layer of uh, board on. We did use the old fence boards I was talking about. Simply repeated what we did on the first layer, just with the pilot holes and the two screws that were drilled into the one inch metal conduit. Right now we have carrots sewed along the edge here and the remainder of the garden is going to be tomato. We do have some red onions just sitting on the end here. So the reason I have the board set up in this configuration is because we sowed the carrots right in the soil. There isn't much soil on top. So on a very hot sunny day, the uh, soil that we sowed the carrots into are actually gonna get dried out and it will interfere with the germination rate. Oh look, looks like we got a little animal dig in there. Um, so by putting a board over top of your garden like this, you prevent the soil from drying out. So that's what we did there. We just kind of brushed away the mulch to the side and once the carrots come up, we'll put the mulch back over to retain the uh, moisture in the soil. Pretty basic raised bed with just stuff I had laying around the property. 
I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to type them in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys on the next one.